Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, we have one more small build before we get into uh, the fairly large <clears throat> final stages. Uh, I may be able to break those down into smaller builds, but uh, the next ones are going to be pretty big. <clears throat> this one is real simple. We've come out here to the northern edge of the world and our job is to pump some nitrogen gas and put it in tanks and ship them out, have them make them available via drones. Uh, we may or may not get empty tanks back, so our uh, assumption is we were going to be building tanks. Secondarily, if we do get tanks back, we want to prioritize using those tanks. Now, we don't have a priority merger. We've got a priority splitter. Oh, see, we've got a smart splitter. But I can't say things like <clears throat> take from input A if it's available, else take from input B. Hmm. So instead, we, well, you'll see what my solution is when I deploy it. Anyway, so that's where we are. Uh, what we have here are a bunch of pure nodes. I have, oh, I've, Uh, I will overclock this like crazy um, so that we don't have to tap all of them. It will simplify my piping. So a pure node can get us 300 per minute. Uh, you can see on our thingy here, we need one packager working from 240 a minute. So we could actually go to a 200% on a single pure node and we're done. So that's all we need there. Uh, we are going to need to make empty fluid tanks and we are going to need to pump nitrogen and package nitrogen gas. The hard part is down here. So when we start building our drone port that is going to be making it available, we have to be ready for drones to come in carrying empties. We have to sink those egg empties out into a container. We have to merge that into our production line and sink any, literally sink any, that we, we can't. Now, I am thinking that this area in the upper right is a nice flat area. I will clear that off and I'll use that for my uh, drone ports and my machinations with my various things. Uh, I think we're going to end up putting the drone ports down at ground level instead of up on posts on this one. So, let's flip back over to the real game. Bump. And that's what it looks like. <clears throat> now you can get this kind of pressurized uh, well. It's, it's kind of like fracking, uh, where you pressurize the middle and it pokes up the outsides. Uh, you can get these for oil, and you can get them for water, and, and you can get them for nitrogen. I think you might be able to get them for something else too. Uh, I forget. Um, this is going to make it a little hard to to use this whole upper area. Uh, yeah, it's really still my best bet, even with that. So we'll use this part. Um, I will have to blow up those guys. Oh, darn. So we still can't really use the, the crash area. Um, I guess I'll just have to build something slightly elevated for all of that stuff. So how do you do these? I don't think I've done one of these on camera yet. So we start off with a resource well pressurizer. And that's going to need some power. So without overclocking, it means 720 per minute. And that one's a pure one. So I'm going to drop a resource well extractor on it. And it's going to kind of point over that way. Let's point it east. So these are cute little things. Um, 
He's earning at 120. Now I can put a bunch of them together and merge the the. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, 120. He's normal. He's pure. It's going to make it 240. I'm going to send it out that way. So, um, yeah, we're going to end up piping all this together. And this guy is normal. So those three, and we want to bring them together and send it up there. We don't need pumps on these. This is a gas, so we don't need a, 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 float, a pump in the pipe. Um, I do want to put a foundation down. Are there, are there three that are less awkwardly placed? Well, this is a pure one. So I could use this pure one and that normal one and that pure one. So foundations, two meter. And I'm going to head this north so we can meet up with the other two. This guy we're gonna face west so we can meet up with him. Um, I'm going to do the pipes kind of freeform, and I want to use him instead. Since he's roughly on the line. And we need to head up that way. Uh, yeah, let's face him that way. So we're going to bring him up here. Where do we want to merge these? Uh, this guy's going to come north. And I'm just going to bring it to here-ish. I need to meet up with him and go that way. So let's just arbitrarily do it here. And we'll just take it up from, how about, do it like this. Bring it to here and back off by an appropriate amount. Appropriate amount is slightly larger than that. There we go. So all of this now comes together here. Uh, do I want to put in a tank? Yeah, I think I'm going to put a buffer tank in here just for fun. I don't know if this is um, helpful or not. We'll just put in a fluid buffer. I don't know if these guys are bursty. I don't know if my consumption is bursty, but this will fill up with nitrogen. Oh, and the gas just kind of gets denser rather than filling up from the bottom. That makes sense. So I need to come up from here and head over that way. And the easy way for me to do that is to grab a wall. And I'm going to go on over here, and I'm going to say, where are we about level, how about there? And we're going to run a trial zoop. Well, that's going to be enough area, I think. So we have a whole bunch of power cables that are kind of scattered around. Let's see if we can 
make them a little more uh, tidy. So we're going to come in from there. And I'm going to change our power delivery to be from here. Now, if I start from there and I say horizontal to vertical, that seems to work. Okay, so we've got power coming from that direction. We also have power coming from over there. Um, I do want to keep my power knit together. And we can get rid of that. There. Since I don't know where our power source is and who's depending on us. And I'm going to put my drone ports out that way. And we need three drone ports, one for fetching aluminum, one for fetching fuel, and one for making gas available. Um, I am going to go out by five and over by 10. Since I don't really have a handle on how much space I'm going to want. Let's start with the drone ports because I am a glutton for punishment. Transport. Doo -doo -doo, drone port, and we're gonna face you out. And I'm gonna put you right here. And I'm just gonna put the three of you cheek by jowl like that. And we're not, I'm not gonna even run power below. Um, this first guy is going to be my drone fuel. And I'm going to seed him with some fuel. And we're going to get him going. And his output is going to be sent back as these inputs. Um, my inputs and outputs I'm going to have to put over the belt. I don't want to I don't want to be going underneath here for this, or do I? Uh, yeah, I suppose I can run the fuel load through there. I give up. Three. Boom. And your output goes to there. And your fuel comes from there. And your fuel comes from there. So, splitter, mer and these guys are going to have mergers on them so that we get a nice straight line. Well, actually, these are going to have splitters on them uh, because otherwise we don't get the right stuff. Because I still need this guy to split down to there. So five, splitter comes from there. Splitter from the right, splitter from the right. Splitter from the left. There's fuel. Okay, so fuel is out of the way. Um, oh, haha. <laughs> Silly me, I only needed to fuel that guy. Never mind, I'm going to undo that. This guy isn't going to need fuel because he is the passive one. So this is a packaged nitrogen supply. He doesn't need fuel. This is aluminum ingot for nitrogen. 
He will need fuel. Let's put those drones in place. And again, we don't need these guys at all. Drone fuel for nitrogen, aluminum ingot for nitrogen, and package nitrogen supply. So you are going to be on a belt like that, and you are on a belt like that. You come to a splitter, which I'm going to put out here because I feel like it. Now, this guy also has an output. Remember, this is possibly going to bring back empties. Um, let's deal with that right now. Um, I'm going to do a splitter. I'm going to do a smart splitter here. And then I'm going to do a industrial storage. So this industrial storage is going to have all the recycled cans that have come back that we haven't been able to use. And if it's full, it goes to a sink. And I'm going to put the sink kind of there. So center output. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, if it's an empty fluid tank, we're going to put it in there. If it's not, an, if somebody comes comes to us and has something else that they drop off, it's gone. I mean, we're just going to toast it. Um. Hey, wait a minute, what if it brings back full nitrogen? I don't think it can do that. I really don't think it can do that. Uh, and if it does, I think we can just dust bin it because we, we, we don't want to do a whole lot of work here to handle somebody doing something we think is impossible. Okay, power. Uh, if we bring power straight out, it's kind of along this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seek the power in right there. I think I got these in roughly the same place everywhere. And you can go there. I'm going to bring you all the way out to the edge so we're kind of good looking. Now this guy, instead of bringing him up through the middle, I'm going to bring him up to here. There. So now we don't have that spare wire running through. Ah, uh, yes, we need to have you go get fuel. I'm going to bring it into drone fuel W, which is still mislamed. I'm going to seed the other guy with some fuel and get him sent off too. The way I'm going to seed him is I'm actually going to put it here in the incoming. take the 32 turbo fuel and I can see if I can put it back in there. So you see he got filled up and he didn't. Oh, right. 
he's backed up because he already had 100 in there. So you've got some fuel, but not a whole lot. I'm going to bring you more just like that. And now the aluminum ingots, aluminum ingot supply east and west. Um, I'm going to tap into aluminum supply west. Neither one of them is tapped yet. That's in the new aluminum area. So you picked up 52 of them. So I think we're good. Um, that's still going to chew through a lot of fuel bringing us this stuff. Fortunately, um, if you're bringing us nine stacks, that's going to last us for quite a while. And you're passive. So this guy brings us aluminum, which we are using for what? Uh, let me look at our thingy up here. We need to make a packager, making packaged nitrogen gas for output, which will go out here. And we need to make a constructor building empty fluid tanks. And the empty fluid tanks need to interact with this guy. Uh, so I think hey that's all that's the uh, the big logic we need to do I'm not going to try to fit it in that little area there what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy out and over so we're going to come over here I'm going to bring it over like that. And I'm going to give me plenty of space. So we need a constructor. And this constructor is going to be making empty fluid tanks. The empty fluid tanks need to go and do a priority merge with this guy. And the output goes onto that guy, so. But the output goes on a packager that goes to this guy. So I think from here, um, bring it in here, like that. So inside here, we need to do a priority merge. The way you do a priority merge is we repeatedly merge from something else. And the way I like to do it is to merge from the top to the bottom. And I'm going to put four of these in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a guy pointing the other direction, but we're going to be a little bit higher. So this is just for spacing. I'm going to put a splitter right to left up here. And this is actually a good time to put in 
get this guy elevated. He comes in elevated over here. So I am actually going to go here, elevated, and from here, elevated. Now, basically if we had one of these, and this input was saturated and that input was saturated, then the output would be one third the guy from the right and two thirds the guy from the bottom, from the top. With two of them, that one third is itself two thirds from the top and one third from the right. So now down to one ninth. So by the time you've done four of them, uh, <clears throat> it's better to actually run a simulation because you're not all saturated everywhere. So the gas is coming up there and needs to come out this way as well because now we need to actually do our packager. And I'm going to put our packager in facing this way. No, I'm going to do it this way. So if I do it this way, we just send it right out where we're pointed. This is not going to be a compact build, did I mention? <laughs> so this is going to package nitrogen. And you are going to need that input, like that. And you're going to need nitrogen coming in up above. So horizontal to vertical, I'm going to bring this across to here. I'm going to see if I can make this match up. at least temporarily, that guy. And now we are going to go down to here, oops, like that. Run these guys clean. We're gonna come across to here. We're going to come all the way to here, and then we're going to make the jog in one step. Now, as for color, I'm going to say nitrogen is white. And that actually matches up with the color that's inside these little windows. some pipe meters on these guys and I'll even put one on here wish I didn't have to repaint it when I substituted a different pipe and there we have nitrogen going out in its containers ready for pickup Now, we won't really know if this is working until everything cranks up and we start getting returned empties. Most of our nitrogen, I believe, is going to a place that doesn't return empties. So, you know, take that for, for what it's worth. Um, <clears throat> once all of these are filled and all those are filled, if this guy takes them one at a time, it's going to take top, top, in, and the end is going to be top, top. So two out of three times two out of three times two out of three times two out of three so two times two times two times two over so oh 
oh, wait a minute, one, it's one third. Okay, one third of one third of one third of one third. So one over. So this is gonna be a little over 1%. Once we've got everything, this would take 1% of its input from here. Now, at some point, we are going to have all the drone fuel we need for a while. And this guy will either hover here waiting to land, or it will land and sit there waiting to finish unloading. And at some point, we will have all of the aluminum we can use, so he will sit there. But that's not going to happen until this fills up with all the nitrogen we can use. And that's going to take a while. Now, I can trim this so it's kind of a, a nice pilot plant up here for nitrogen um, we didn't need a whole lot of nitrogen we are building quite a bit more than we need we're building 60 and I, I forget what we need but it's like a tenth of that I don't know. What, what do we need in the way of packaged nitrogen gas? Um, let's take a look. So we need three there and three there and five there. So our, our normal build would be like 12. So we're doing about five times what we need. So we have our package support drone, we're allowing for return, we're trying to use them, we're sinking the empties, and we've got the two active po drone ports and we have verified that. So we are done with nitrogen. And I'm going to cut the recording here because the next thing I want to do is going to be very big and very long and I probably want to do that like tomorrow afternoon or something. Uh, it looks like it's going to be another multi-hour effort. So. Until we're ready to do that one, and I think that one's going to be called something like Six Easy Pieces, um, I will see you in the next recording.